Hello everyone, this is a building tutorial about how to make custom waves, which are basically objects moving up and down in a series like this. Um, the first thing we need to know about custom waves is that there are three kind of uh, factors or variables that change the way it looks. So we're going to take a look at those first before you start building yours, and then you'll be able to follow along with me. So the first aspect is amplitude. It's probably the easiest to understand because it is the amount that each object is going to go up and down. So right here I have a high amplitude which is uh, four blocks and then over here I have a low amplitude which is half a block. The next thing is frequency which is basically how fast kind of it moves. Um, this is a frequency of 0.5. Remember it's, um, it's seconds so actually a low frequency is a higher number because it's the amount of time. So if you have a small frequency like this, your wave will be moving up and down quickly and then low frequency will be very slow. And then finally the wavelength, think of it like the distance between the two, uh, between two crests or the top of the wave. So right now there's 10 blocks between each, each crest and um, something like over here, there's only three blocks between each crest. So you can kind of use this, you can mix multiple you know, like if you want to have low amplitude and high wavelength, you know, you can mix stuff like that to create, you know, whatever kind of wave you want. Alright, one more thing before we get started. I actually am going to put a link in the description. I found this website that has a little simulator on it if you want to try out different, um, you know, frequencies, wavelengths, and amplitudes and stuff to just test it out and find values that you'd want to use in your level. Alright, so... Now begins the actual building part. So we have our values chosen here. I'm gonna have a wavelength of five blocks, frequency of one second, and an amplitude of two blocks. Before we get started, we're actually gonna make two more of these, just kind of as um, helper kind of values. One of them's gonna be called time, and one of them, I'm just gonna call it um, interval. So what you need to do is do some quick math, and your time is actually going to be half of your frequency. So I'm going to copy this down, and I'm going to change this to 0.5 because it's half my frequency. And your interval is a little more complicated. It is your frequency divided by your wavelength. So for me, it would be 1 divided by 5. So I'm going to bring it down here, and 1 divided by 5 is 0.2. So I'll just put that there. So this is just kind of like a quick reference guide for while we're building. So the first thing we are doing is taking a just any any block where you can do like a series of blocks or whatever that you want to um, you know move as part of the wave. We're going to give them a unique group so just say one for now. Alright so once we have that um, we actually need to build a loop which even if you don't understand loops just follow along because this isn't going to be that bad. Put in a spawn 2, copy it over, and make it a 3, or just, you know, the next three groups. And then uh, grab them both, put them both on spawn trigger to multi-trigger, and then um, add them to the opposite groups. So because this is 3, I'm going to add it to group 2, and because this is 2, I'm going to add it to group 3. And then finally, all the way over here, just put a um, spawn 2 to start the loop. Alright, so once we have this, we need to go back into our loop, not that. We need to go back into our loop, and the delay, you gotta change the delay, and the delay is gonna be equal to your time. So, time is 0.5, I'm going to set my delay to 0.5. Alright, and then we'll place in the move triggers. So, there's gonna be one here, um, make sure to put them on spawn and multi-triggered and then set it to group 2, put it right under here so it's right under here, it's in group 2 and we're going to say move 1 because that's our blocks and this Y value is going to be your amplitude so my amplitude is 2 blocks so I'm going to put in 20 and then move time again is going to be the time so time is 0.5 so it's already good and it's very important for the easing, put it on sign in out. Um, it's right here because, you know, sign is like a math thing for waves. It, it just makes it a wave. All right, and then copy this over, put it here, except put it into group three, and make it go back down. 
minus 20. So right now, if we test it out, once our loop starts, which is going to be at this point, once our character passes here, yeah, it's going to start moving up and down like that. So once you have this, um, we're going to need to copy this over to the right. But we need to have each one in a different group. So what we're going to do is take our wavelength 5 from me. That's how many we're going to need. So I'm going to uh, copy this entire thing. I'll move it up, just move it straight up, and then press build helper. And then do the same thing, copy and paste, move it straight up and press build helper, and repeat until you have however many your wavelength is. So this is number four, and then I'm gonna go three up again, and this is number five. And then at this point, you can take these and just bring them down. Let me just do this quickly. Alright, and then, um, yeah, so at this point it shouldn't look very exciting, it's just moving up and down. And this is where we're going to start using the interval. This is kind of the last step. So, the last step is you need to take your spawn trigger in the bottom left, so the original one, all the way on the left, and change the delay to the interval, 0 0.2. Then, when you go up to the next one, you have to keep adding the interval. So, right now it's 0 0.2. On the next one, we're going to make this 0 0.4. And then on the next one above that, we're going to make it 0 0.6. And then on the next one above that, we're going to make it 0 0.8. And then on the last one is going to be 1. And you'll, if, you, if your last one is the same as your frequency, in this case they're both 1, that means you did it correctly. So your last, so the top left spawn trigger, the delay should be equal to your frequency. So in, yeah, in my case they're both ones, so it worked. I did it correctly. And so now if we do it, um, they will be on a delay, meaning that each one will pop up, you know, shortly after the one before it. And then from this point, all you have to do is copy and paste your design however long you want it. Just make sure that, you know, the back of the, or the, the final object of it goes after the original one. So once it starts, um, yeah, it'll look like this. Alright, last thing, now that our wave is complete, we can delete all this because we don't need it anymore, unless you just want to, you know, save it at the top for if you're going to edit something. And then these need to stay in a line. They all need to stay just like this so that that way each block starts moving at the same time. So just put this wherever you want the wave to, you know, begin moving. So I want it to begin right at the start of the level, so I'll move it all the way to the left. And these, because they're all on spawn trigger, it doesn't matter. So I can literally just put them anywhere I want. I'm just going to keep them up here so I can, you know, build the rest of the level without having to see them. And yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, if you want me to explain something else, put it in the comments. And yeah, bye.